What's up everybody, Enzo here. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day wherever you are. Getting into the first few games of the season in this episode. We might try to make one signing first though. Let's see, we put a bunch of guys on the list. Itzo, Anderson, Chiesa, Rebic, Biragi, and Lazaro. I think we're going to go ahead and, and sign Joachim Anderson, who just went to Lyon in real life for $30 million. Uh... I don't know, it's kind of a weird transfer, but Lyon's a good team. They're better than people think they are. They were good last year, but we're going to go ahead and side for Anderson. We offered $10 million and they just go, okay, so maybe we shouldn't have offered $10 million, but I think we really need to fill in our back line anyway, so we're going to go ahead and put him. Itzo, unfortunately, has just joined. Chiesa has a release clause of 30 point, 30 million, 400,000 euro in, in this year of FIFA, which is utterly crazy in real life. There's no way he's going to go for anywhere close to that amount. He's going to for sure go for more like 70 million, probably to either Inter or Juve or someone like that. But we're going to go in for 26. We're going to try to beat the release clause anyway. We're going to go in at 26. Let's see. We're going to try to, we're trying to be cheap here because we're trying to save up for later in the season, grab a few more players, 20.5. Let's see. Are they going to go for that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're fired, bro. Man manager of uh, transfer guide of Fiorentina selling Chiesa for 20.4, 24.5. Utterly crazy. Hmm, do we want to delegate the sale of Kendreva? We have another offer for Kendreva. I was on the fence on him for a while. I think now that we signed Chiesa, Kendreva can honestly go... So glad to have Chiesa in the side, though. Right on the right, that right side over there. I don't know how perfectly he could fit Conte's system, but I know Conte wants him. Inter's wanted him for a couple years now, but the kid is an absolute stud. Maybe a little bit of a drama queen, a little dramatic, a little, you know, the antics, but there's no denying the talent is all over this kid. Can't wait to see him some more this year. Only 20 years old, but look at that beautiful shot of the San Siro. Such an epic, iconic stadium. They are, I think, building a new one, but for now, speaking of epic and iconic, Ronaldo, the original. That is freaking cool. That is cool, but early on in the game here, Lukaku, his home debut, going for goal of the season right away. Barella, Lataro, Lataro, over the top, Lukaku on his home debut. Goal! And that was a thing of beauty. Jumps right up on the monitor and celebrates with his teammates right at home in the sun, in front of the San Siro. Faithful. Yeah, there's just a, such a beautiful stadium. I, I really hope I get the chance to go to the San Siro one day. I've only been to the, uh, <clears throat> I've only been to a game at the, uh, the Stadio Olimpico. I saw, I saw Roma versus AC Milan one, one year around Christmas time, but Never seen, never been to the San Siro. Would love to go one day. Let's see, off kickoff here. Torino, Lukaku on the left. Bang! Saved by Sirigu. Sirigu, very underrated goal. Hey, 73.5 for Ciro Mobley from Real Madrid. That is t t t terrible transfer by Real Madrid. Joachim Anderson, who got the start, giving away a foul on a bad spot. Youngster will hopefully learn as he goes. Yeah, it's going to be okay, bro. We got this. We got this. The goalie's got this. Oh, man, that was just a, a disgusting tackle. Luckily, he missed the player. Let's see. Torino Vorm is going to take this. Not a bad effort. Handanovic looked like he had that one covered all day long. Into the second half here. Brozovic into Lukaku. Lukaku, Lataro. Sees Lukaku on his left, snipes the top corner, goal! His second of the game in front of the home fans. I think that's four goals in his first two games. Lukaku is outstanding. Lataro slips one into Lukaku. Maybe Lataro and Lukaku play better together because it gives you that nice one guy with, you know, niftiness and quickness. You know, he's still got good heading ability, but maybe they feed off each other better than just two beasts like Jekko, Jekko and Lukaku. Maybe they're too similar. Maybe we'll go with this, but Chiesa on the wing into Sensi. Sensi on the right foot. Goal! Inter come to life in front of the home fans. I was telling you guys, this kid is going to be special, I believe. 
a lot of you probably don't know him. Not a household name yet as he played. He came from Sassuolo, who I doubt a lot of you have seen play, unless you really watch Serie A or the Italian national team. But this kid is an excellent player. Looks like maybe not as good as Marco Verratti, but... He's, he's along the same lines, very similar player, reads the game extremely well, precision passer. I'm excited to see how Sensi and Barella fit into Inter this year. With Lukaku too, the whole team, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see Inter, even as a Roma fan, I'm excited to see Inter play this year. It's about time someone other than Juve had some buzz around them, you know. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and take that one. 3-0. We're going to go after Milenkovic, who, again, if you guys don't follow Serie A too closely, this kid's a beast as well. Again, we're going to offer $10 million and they just go, yeah, sure. <laughs> like, nice job, GM, manager. Nice nice uh, transfer business there because I thought we are going to have to add a lot more. I think, honestly, Milenkovic and Anderson, like I said, Anderson just went for 30 mil in real life. So I think Milankovic will go for much more too. But this kid was excellent. He was excellent at the World Cup with Serbia. Maybe you guys saw him play there. But I know a lot of big clubs wanted him at one time or another. I think United wanted him before they signed uh, Harry Maguire. Chiesa on the wing. Chiesa's going to whip this one in the middle. Lukaku can't stop scoring. It's like his, it's like his fifth goal in the first three games of the season. The Belgian superstar nods that one in. His manager, Roberto Martinez, with the national team was saying he, he kind of likes that Lukaku went to Inter. Especially to be receive some tutelage from Antonio Conte. Uh, but we're going to go up one nothing earlier there. one nothing early, I should say. Lukaku, Chiesa all day long. What is Bologna doing on his right foot? Atrocious effort. What are you doing? I talked to you up all day, and that's what you do, buddy. Barella into Dzeko on the right foot. Dzeko, oh, slips in. Barella, what a team goal. That is what we are clicking on all cylinders now. We avoided a lot of the big boys early in the season. We, we I'll admit we did get a lucky draw with Sassuolo, Bologna. Torino was really good last year, but haven't had to play Juve, AC Milan, Roma, Napoli, anyone like that. But that was just a beautiful team goal. Dzeko could have been selfish and shot. Slipped in Barella, who just perfectly, delicately took his time and placed that one in the top corner. Interrupt 2 nothing already. Might have to bump up the difficulty on this now that we've signed some better players into the squad. And, or not, <laughs> got a little too cocky, a little too early. Bologna coming back 2-1, to one, defending all over the place. Conte is heated. Good thing halftime has already passed because he would be pissed in the locker room at half anyway Bologna slipped in oh nice one too into the side netting Handanovic could he have gotten there who knows nice finish nonetheless can't take it away from them reaction time would have had to have been immaculate for Handanovic to get there 2-1 let's see Federico Mattiello. Let's see if we can go ahead and close this one out. Don't let them come back into stoppage time. They never really got anything going. Versalico. And that's going to be the end of the game. Off to, I think we're 3-0. and Off to a nice little hot start here. Away game. Bologna's like, I don't know what happened out there, bro. I, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm going to go versus Parma now. Martinez and Lukaku up top. The legendary Ronaldo again makes an appearance. That is such a cool feature. I never really play, I didn't play with Inter too much in this game, so up until now, so I never really saw that. That is cool. That beautiful shot of the San Siro from above. Just an immaculate stadium. Again, I hope I get to go there before they, they build the new one. I don't know how long. I mean, it's not like they're building the new one tomorrow, but early. Oh, off the crossbar. Lukaku almost again. Brozovic, Barella. Balls all over the place. Parma. Once the once great Parma slowly coming back to form. Chiesa steals the ball on the outside. Breakaway. Can he get away? Shoot right foot. Oh, skies it over the net. I went to sky is harsh. Wasn't too bad. Roberto Inglese. Passes to his teammate. Who was that? I didn't see. There's Gervinho over there. Gervinho. Had it scored an excellent goal last year, if anyone saw that one. Gervinho clips one into the box. Oh, just over the far corner. We're under a lot of pressure at home. 
Get something going the other way, but Ella, nowhere to go. Where's Sensi? See Sensi, Lukaku. On the left, Lukaku shoots. Oh, just wide of the net. The San Siro faithful are growing restless here. Gervinho, who's trying to get on the end of it here. Inglese, Godin is half dead. Anderson is dead. Oh, no. They ping pong it all over the place and put it into the back of the net. There is Gervinho, the Ivorian legend. Is Gervinho a legend? Specifically to the Ivory Coast. Ah, maybe. He, he was a better player than people gave him credit for, I thought. But I know he didn't always have the best go at Arsenal. But one, two, three, and the header. Oh, man. Conte is, Conte is heated again. He's not happy about that. Lukaku, again, we are getting torn right up the bum. Gervinho, three on one. Three on one right now. Oh, and Donovich bails us out. Thank God we have a good goalie, a good keeper. Milenkovic steals it. Brozovic, are we going to have another chance here? This might be it. Dzeko on the wing. Godin. Diego Godin playing left wing. Not a bad cross. Barella. Oh, Seppe with the save. One last opportunity here. Barella. Dzeko into Lukaku on the left foot. It's got some room. Oh, right into the defender. And this is just not our day. Oh, they are, whoa. Eh. Eh, well, that's it. We had our chance early. Went off the crossbar. was all downhill from there. Hope you guys are having an awesome day out there. Thanks for stopping by if you made it this far. Hope you guys are enjoying the start of the season in real life. I'm having a lot of fun doing this career mode. Going to be posting again tomorrow, same time. Have a great day. Subscribe if you want. Later.